Diamond. Square. Diamond. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so uh, let's just let's just get st get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a, a bird base, which is uh, it's the same base that's for like most um, bird uh, origami. So if you if you're gonna make most birds in any in any kind of origami, you'll make this base first and then create something from that. So uh, first of all, we're gonna do something called a valley fold, which is a fold where you fold one uh, like so it's like inwards rather than um, outwards. So we're gonna do a valley fold on along from this diagonal to this diagonal here. So the, along this diagonal, so uh, and along this way. So we're gonna follow fold and fold like that. Okay. So I'm gonna get used to this. So fold once there. That's a valley fold. The uh, a mountain fold would be an opposite one, so it would be going outwards. So that's a valley fold there. We're going to open it up again, and then do another valley fold here along the uh, the diagonal. So, so we've got two valley folds, one there and one there. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a mountain fold, but on the on the on the two opposite sides. So we're going to do a, uh, a mountain fold there, which is the other way. And we're going to do it that way, so twice across here. So, uh, I, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it the other way. So that's a valley fold, mountain fold. So we'll do it like this. Okay. Along there, like that. Hey, goat man, welcome, buddy. I know that you've already been doing your origami cranes, so you should be a pro at this by now. <laughs> Expectations, buddy. <laughs> so yeah, do another mountain fold there, and a mountain fold here. So basically, you're having, you've got. Eight folds, two valley folds here, and then two mountain folds here. How's it going so far? So yeah, so that's what it will look like. You'll have eight different uh, eight different folds going around a piece of paper. Okay. So how's that? How's that for speed for everyone? Is that all right? So once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into a, uh, the beginning of a bird base. So there's a couple of ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you a way that I think is the easiest for me. So hopefully um, it will be easy for uh, for you guys. But if not, then there are other ways to do it. So let's try a different way. So what I like to do is I like to bring these two corners here together. So they meet at the middle. So I bring them here like this and hold them like that. So it's a bit like that. So all like that. Okay. And then what I do is I take this corner and I want it to meet the middle as well. So I push this corner here. So there, so it goes, it falls inwards, and then do the same on the other side. So you should have a diamond shape, like so. Okay, so a diamond shape just like that. And you should look, when you look down at it, it should like this, so it looks like that. And I'll show you again, so I'll bring it back out, I'll do it one more time. So we have a, so we want these two corners to meet at the middle when they move, when they're folded inwards, okay? So we're gonna meet at the middle here, Hold it, in, hold it in place, and then we're going to push these two to meet the middle also, like so. And then turn it upside down. So we want the 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 opening at the bottom, and you want the, the top here. So you want the fold, the main fold, to be at the top, like so. Okay. If anyone, if anyone is a bit stuck, just drop it in the chat if you're interested, and let me know, and we can, we can maybe go back a step or two and check it out. So let's look so. Okay, so like that. It should look like that. Okay. So make sure that your main fold, the the the, the eight fold, is at the top. So the middle of the of the the folds were before are at the top. So you're going to bring this corner here to meet the middle, and you're going to do the exact on the opposite side, like so. So one here to that middle, and one here to that middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then move it up to um, into the bird base. Okay. So we'll fold this along here like so fold that there and you're going to fold it there so it's a valley fold there to the middle and then you're going to do the exact same on the other side okay like so okay so that's what it should look like so you should have the the back of the of the um middles here uh, underneath when you do that fold, so let's say. And then we're gonna do the exact same on the other side. So we're gonna turn it over, and we're gonna bring this corner here to this middle, and this corner to this middle here, okay? Like so. Okay, 
and it should be more of a kite now. So like okay, so this is other this could be called I think it's called a kite base. So it'll be the shape of a kite. And as you can see it'll be on both sides. So we'll turn it over and you'll see these this opens out like that. Okay. If anyone has any questions let me know. That's a kite base. Okay. Okay, so the next bit, for anyone who hasn't done origami before, it might be a little bit of a fiddle, but hopefully you'll you'll get it, um, like, maybe within a couple of tries. But the best thing to do to make this easier is to take this bit here, this this triangle here, and fold it over so it, it folds along this line here. And then when you actually move it, it will hopefully make it more of a, um, an easier process. So I'm going to do that now to show you. So you can fold this downwards, like so. Fold along there. And then fold back up again. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two corners out, and you'll see that there's uh, obviously a fold triangle here, and we're going to use that to make the next part of the fold. So I'm bringing this. So if you look at the bit underneath, just here, that bit, you're going to bring that up, and whilst holding this fold here, bring that up, and you'll notice these inside pieces here move inwards towards the middle. So you want that to happen, and you'll push it inwards like this to create this opening okay that's the that's the fiddly bit so if you can get that you're doing pretty well doing really well okay so I'll show you that on the other side because we're gonna do it twice now so you've done that once there okay so you, when you put it down it should look like that okay like so okay so you should have this triangle here so before we were like this, so I'll bring it back out again and I'll show you one more time. So before we were, um, well now that I've opened it, I can't put it back. <laughs> um, so we were like, oh, I've done it now. I can't, I can't, do, I can't move it backwards. <laughs> I've never done it backwards before. <laughs> so let's do it on the other side. So I'll show you again on the other side. So we're going to turn it over. So this is what it would have looked like before. And what you want to do is you want to open this up. You want to hold on this fold here and bring this corner, this first this first page of this corner up. And you want to fold these two bits inwards like so. So they come inwards as you fold it upwards. Okay. Like so. So you should have here, this is a bird base. So this is what a bird base looks like. So any, as I said earlier, any origami that you do where it's a, a bird, this is usually the base that you'll have as a beginning point, and then we you make the bird from that point onwards. Okay. So now we're going to start making the actual crane itself. So now that we've done the uh, bits with the with the bird base, we'll make the crane from this. So how we do that is you're going to take this corner here, and you're going to bring it inwards. So bring it to the middle like we did before. So bring this corner here. I need to lean forward for this bit because I can't see what I'm doing. And just bring it to the edge, but not too close to the edge because you're going to have to move it around in a bit. So bring it kind of to the middle, like so. And then do it again on the other side. Like so. Like that. Okay. So you should have it. It's like a thinner kite now. So it's even thinner than before. Like so. Okay. And then we're going to do it again on the other side. So again, using the kite and then bring this middle, this corner here into the middle, okay? Like so. Okay, and do the same on the other side here. And you should have something that looks a bit like this. You should have, um, this is now a folded kite base, uh, a bird base to then make the crane. And you should be able to see it on both sides, so either side will be the exact same. Okay. Then, you take one of these two here, and you're going to have to fold it. So you push in there, and you bring your thumb in, and you want to bring it up, let's say. So you want to fold along the bottom here, along that bottom there. You want to fold there, and mold this into the end of your crane. Okay, so just like that. And then you want to do the exact same on the other side. So you want to put your thumb just in here, a finger in there, bring your thumb. I'll just do it this way because I'm, I'm better with my left hand. Uh, 
bring it in like that and fold that upwards like that. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, I wouldn't say this is one of my perfect ones, but it's, it's it does the job. <laughs> okay, and then we choose you choose one of these these different um, ends to become your beak. So you just fold in fold this inwards here, fold it inwards, and squeeze it together to make. Uh, a beak, okay, like so. Okay, so that's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mold the crane, and how you do that is you just bring down one of the wings. So you, as you can see, we've now made these into wings. Bring one of the wings down until it end, comes to the end, and push it downwards like so. And then do the exact same on the other side. So bring it down and fold that in place, okay. Then we're going to use so the, the two corners here, just here. We're going to bring the fold there and bring it upwards like so. And you're going to do that on the exact same other side. So bring the two corners here and fold it along there like so. Okay. Then you're going to take the two ends of the wings, fold them outwards like so, so it looks like this. And you're going to slowly but surely pull so that middle bit molds outwards so slowly but surely and it creates that crane so there we go there we have it you have an origami crane like from my logo <laughs>